Aloha y'all, thanks for tuning in. So as y'all know, Corona means crown and what we have to be reminded of at this time is that our crown chakras are about knowing. So people who just believe in something or don't know what to believe, um, you have to really start to know thyself and really start to know the direction that you're going in. And so we're going to talk about the chakras today. Um, we have the three transpersonal chakras for ascending and the crown chakra is the last physical chakra on our body. And when all these chakras are activated, you have to remember where is this energy coming from that allows us to reach our highest God supreme potential. And it's coming from this divine source that is outside ourselves and the three chakras that are actually called the transpersonal chakras so we have the soul star the causal and the stellar gateway you know the ancient times they had the advanced skull structures like the elongated skulls that were a lot more tuned into higher spiritual energies and the two chakras used to be um so the soul star and the causal chakra I'm gonna explain those in a bit. Actually, used to be a part of the a part of the physical chakra system. Depending on whether you follow a Vedic or Kemetic system of chakras, there's either seven or eight. But in both systems, the crown chakra is the last of the physical chakras. It's the thousand petal lotus. It's the color purple. It's the um, portal out of our physical bodies into our higher ascended selves. So the three transpersonal chakras. The first one that we have is the soul star and that's located about six inches above your head um it's it's activated by the sun energy like if you sun gaze or if you're in the sunlight it's activated by the sun's rays the soul star is also corresponding with the earth star chakra which are six inches at the bottom at the bottom of the soles of your feet so those two have to work together um, in order for you to really channel these energies in from the higher realms. Black tourmaline and hematite, which are both really good for working with Earth's, um, Earth star chakras. Um, I'm going to include a whole list in, dis in the description box. So the soul star chakra is also is activated by sunlight. It's also the light that we're moving towards. So people who've had like death experiences, they describe like a void and this light. And the light is actually the light from the soul star chakra. And the soul star is directly connected is what okay so above the soul star six inches above that is the stellar gateway the stellar gateway is about 12 is about 12 inches or a foot above our heads and it's the um it's like the impersonal divine essence it's like um so the soul star is more about like our is what connects all the humans to the collective consciousness whereas the um stellar gateway is like the ultimate supreme um, impersonal God consciousness that is the spirit there's no he or she there's no um, di there's no differentiation between the stellar gateway so it's what connects us to our cosmic selves too and it's what allows these um, the cosmic energies to come through into our bodies so it's also the stellar gateway is also bringing in light from the great central sun which is coming into our planet at this time so below that is the soul star and then the one that is towards the back of our head i'm going to include a picture so the one that's more towards the back of the head is the causal chakra and the causal chakra is actually what allows people to channel um, this chakra is opened by pra by meditating, by practicing, um, it, by creating a peaceful state of mind through cleansing your aura and um, your psychic, your astral body. Envisioning the color blue, crystals like lapis or kyanite related to our thoughts and our mind being aligned with the um, soul star in the stellar gateway. Activated by kyanite, um, so it, it encompasses the mental... Um, like the spiritual it connects the spiritual essence to our mental body so we're able to you know have these divine like thoughts and bring the bring this information through when your causal chakra is open you ha you don't have a doubt in your mind of what is happening in the world you know because sometimes you can like i think at this point we all can see um, where we're going in terms of this ascension process um, this is the it's like confirmed at this point and um, 
when people start to introduce doubt because they're so used to the old way of being and they think the way that it's been is the only way that we can move forward with unaware that there's going to be a new currency system there's going to be a new way of being because the physical reality our bodies are going to be ascending with the earth and it's going to be a completely different reality beyond anything that we've ever experienced before on this plane so some of us is going to feel familiar like the older souls and what blocks the crown chakra is actually attachment so whether it's attachment to something in the physical plane whether it's attachment to how things used to be in the past at this time we really have to let go of everything that we thought we knew and really be open to the spiritual energies that are coming to this planet at this time and you know I feel like there's going to be there's going to be cosmic dis disclosure like the, the galactic guys or the extraterrestrials might appear in physical form for me i'm thinking maybe like taurus season because when the sun moves into next to uranus which is the you know unexpected shakeups anything is possible so yeah keep staying calm in the heart you can activate your causal chakra that way and you know it's a spiritual war and the way that we win is through staying calm within ourselves staying in the heart and knowing that the direction that we're going in is divinely guided and be to a new reality that you know take it one day at a time and remember that your angels and guys are always with you at this time so stay connected and trust have faith know that we're all going to be taken care of by the divine love so and practice having compassion because that's going to accelerate the whole process. So.